Hey, hey, everybody, I'm back. It's time for Facebook Friday this week. Suddenly, I just am like, was I in the right group? I do that every week, don't I? Let's see. Okay, good, good, good. Well, it's been two weeks since we've been live, and I have so much stuff to tell you. We had on stage, um, which is Stampin' Up's demonstrator event, and I have all this stuff to tell you and to show you, and it's super overwhelming, and I don't think I can just show you all of it. So I'm going to show you some of it today. Um, there's lots of new things coming, um, and so I'll slowly show them as we get closer to the new catalog. Um, but exciting times, exciting times. Um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is these two catalogs right here, the annual and the spring mini. The last chance lists are out. We used to call those the retired list. I um, put them here on Facebook. I linked them and there's a lot. So the new catalog is very different. Um, and there's a lot of new stuff in the catalog. There's a lot of stuff from the spring mini carrying over, um, but there, a lot of stuff from the annual catalog is retiring. So if you still have a wish list from specifically the annual catalog, but also the spring catalog, you're gonna wanna make sure to look at this. Um, the weird part about this though, is that, um, so, so we know it's retiring, right? Um, and some of it's going to go on sale, but it's not going to go on sale until April 9th, right? April 9th, that's like 20 days. It's like a long time after the list came out. So as you guys know, things sell out. So what I think is going to happen is some of the really popular things are going to sell out before April 9th, before they can even go on sale. So if there are things on your list that you have to have, you have to decide. Do you wanna wait until the ninth for them to go on sale or are you wanting them bad enough that you're gonna pay the regular price and, and not run the risk of them selling out, right? So this is the game we play. Um, as soon as the last chance list comes out, Stampin' Up! tells us everything is now while supplies last. So we kinda of have to function in that mode for like the next six weeks. Um, if you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Really, why is this important to you? Just to make sure that you get the things that you want before they're gone. Um, so I encourage you, that's what I'm looking for, to print them out. I sorted them, um, I removed all the French sets, I tried to make the print a little bit bigger, and I, um, what else did I do? I removed the French, put it by numerical, the page number order. That way you can go page by page in your catalog, which is what I do. And I always write like an R next to it. Well, you can't see it. An R next to it if it's retiring. That way visually I can see what's leaving. Um, there's some other things I, I just want to point out to you. Um, one of them being that we're losing some of our blocks, our clear blocks, these right here, you know, the things that we stamp with. And one of them I never use, but two of them I use pretty much every day. So if you need clear blocks or you wanna have like backup, now's the time to get them. Um, this one is block A, we're gonna use it today, it has a little crabby on it. This one's leaving and it's only $5, right? $5, this one's leaving. And then the long and skinny, oh, I don't have it today, I lied, I don't use it every day. It's the skinny one that usually we put words on. Um, that's block G. And then the really big long and skinny I, that's the one, we have three long and skinnies. There's the little, the medium, and the big. It's the little one and the big one that are leaving, I believe. I hope I'm not telling you the wrong thing. Um, so I just this week ordered a couple extra A and a couple extra G because I use those all the time. So just so that you know, that's happening. That's happening. Um, my, my favorite dies are leaving, give it a whirl. They're leaving. Basic borders are leaving. Uh, Tailor-made tags are leaving. Contour scallop dies are leaving. I mean, these are dies I use <laughs> on every project. Um, so if you don't have them or if you want like a backup, now's the time to get them. Um, okay, now here's the other thing I, got, I have to tell you. And I mean, this doesn't come as any surprise 
there are going to be price increases in the next catalog. Um, I have to tell you guys that this week I order my groceries and pick them up. And the toothpaste that I use, now granted, it's not your basic level toothpaste. It's the kind that takes care of your gums because I have receding gums. TMI, I know, I'm just telling you this because I paid $9 for a tube of toothpaste. And I was like, oh my gosh. I tell you that just because this is the way it's going right now. Everything is getting super expensive. I know you guys know you've gone to the grocery store. So just know that Stamping Up is having to raise costs as well. So here are the things that are gonna go up in price with the new catalog. So if you wanna stock up on some of these before the price goes up, you can. All right, so all card stock is going up. Ink refills. I always tell you guys, get your ink refills, right? Especially those ink colors. I try to remember when I buy an ink pad to buy the ink refill, because nothing is worse than when you go to use an ink pad and it and it needs to be, you know, you need to add ink to it and you don't have that refill. Oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, so ink refills. Blends, Stampin' Blends are going up a dollar, I think. Um, Stampin' and Cut, Stampin', the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine and the plates. Stays on and Memento, both of our black inks. Punches, glue and glue dots, watercolor pencils, and blender pens. Now I got this list from someone else. <laughs> I'm hoping that she was right. I know that I know that these things are going up. I just don't know if these are all the things that are going up, but I'm pretty sure. Cardstock, you know, add a package of white to your next order. Add a, a what do we call them? A multi-pack where you color family pack. Um, blends, if you're missing any Stampin' Blends. Glue and glue dots, they've been really cheap for a while. I'm surprised those haven't gone up before because they're really, they've been really cheap. Okay, so that's my FYI. Um, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on the retired stuff because there's so much other stuff I haven't touched. When I got home on Sunday, well on Monday when I got in here, I went through all my stamp sets that I wanted to use before the end of the catalog, before the new catalog comes out. And I have more stamp sets and bundles that I wanna use than we have Facebook Fridays. Like there's too many. So I am not gonna, you know, like really focus. Oh, the other thing is my taco set is retiring. So if you haven't gotten Taco Fiesta guys, make sure you add it to your order, okay? I knew that that was gonna happen. They usually don't stay around for much longer than a year. Mine was like 18 months, so. I had a good run. Um, anyway, go down the list, go through your catalog, see if what what you don't have. Um, you have until uh, the new catalog. Let me show you the picture of the new catalog. It's very different. Uh, not a picture, I'll show you the real thing. It looks like a magazine and it feels like a magazine. Um, I can't show you the inside um, per stamping up policy, but I when you get it in your hands, you're going to be like, wow, this is different. It feels like a magazine. It looks like a magazine. And I feel like um, it's more of like a lookbook, um, an idea, inspiration. There's some cool information about color, color theory, color matching. Um, you're going to like it. It's really cool. And there's some adorable things coming out. Um, I think... I don't know. We'll just have to see what you guys think. It's beautiful, but it's different. It's beautiful, but it's different. Okay. Um, I have sent out, if you have ordered with me in the last year, I sent you an email, I believe last week or week before asking if you wanted a catalog. I don't automatically send this to everybody who's ordered from me um, because that would cost me a bazillion dollars. And a lot of you are demonstrators already. So you're going to get one free from Stampin' Up!, or you have a local demonstrator that you spend time with who's gonna give you one. Now, if you need one from me, I absolutely wanna send it to you. I just wanna make sure I, I'm not being wasteful and sending them to people who don't need them. So I sent you an email, asked you to click the link, fill it out, and I will make sure to have a catalog mailed to you. Uh, my Club Create members, if you're in Club Create, that was in this email, this last email I just sent you, I wanted to know if you want one in your Club Create kit. Um, if you didn't get that email, email me and I will send you a link so you can let me know that you want one, okay? Um, so these will go out next month. Um, that it begins, this new catalog begins May 1st and you, you'll probably get them the second half of April in the mail, okay? 
All right, so that is that. I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you some things that I got while we were at um, On Stage. On Stage is our demonstrator event. It was a new style of On Stage this year. Um, it was kind of local to me, whoops. Um, it was in, whoa, hello, what's happening? There we go. It um, was in Houston, which is a three hour drive from me, which was awesome. So I got to drive and take my car, stayed with my friend Rhonda. We rented a VRBO, which was so nice. Quiet in the evenings. We were like so talked out, you know, like you just talk all day and you're so tired. So it was really nice. Um, it was a great event, the new catalog. Got to see lots of you, meeting you was great, many of you. Um, Marianne, you know, I think it probably is thinner. What did I just, where did I put it? Um, yeah, I definitely think it's thinner. Let me look. And I think that's by design because I, they have told us. So the old one has 176 pages and the new one has, yeah, 144. But remember, they're doing a lot of online releases. So instead of putting those products in the catalog, they're releasing products as online only. Um, that gives them more flexibility with products. Um, so the annual is just kind of, I feel like, you know, our staple it has our paper, our, our cardstock, our ink, and then the more seasonal on-trend stuff will come in our mini catalogs and online exclusives. So when you see this catalog, you're going to be like, wow, there's some really cool things in there. Um, there's like some, a color wheel, the, the adhesives page where they show the adhesives is really neat how they designed it. Um, okay, let's start with the end colors, you guys, okay? I gave you a little sneak peek yesterday. Um, here are your new end colors. Let's see if I can remember their names, okay? Um, this is Shy, I'm gonna have to cheat, Shy Shamrock, okay? It's like a Kelly Green. This is Summer Splash, um, really pretty. Hey, guys, remember last year when I made that notebook of all the cardstock? Remember I labeled it and we were comparing? I cannot find that notebook. I've moved and I don't know where it is and I am mad. I'm gonna have to find it so that we can compare. We'll do that next week, hopefully, if I can find it. Um, this looks Coastal Cabana-ish. Maybe like Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay had a baby, maybe. <laughs> um, this one I love. We have really needed a soft orange. This is Peach Pie. This is Pretty in Pink, which is a very old color, has come back to town. Very cute, I love it. Um, it's a... I don't want to say it's a soft pink, but it is. It's softer, but not soft. You know, like it's, I don't know. It's a, it's a perfect pink. I love it. And then Petunia Pop, which reminds me of Sweet Sugar Plum. If you remember Sweet Sugar Plum from maybe 10 years ago. And look how fun they are together. They're so cute. So um, I always do an in color club. Last year I did not do an in color club. For one, last year's in colors... Well, they scared me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't know if I could do five months with those. I mean, they all serve their purpose, but they're kind of not star of the show colors. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we didn't do it last year, but we did new color club last year. And I changed it completely. And that's how I'm going to do in color club. When you join each month, you'll get one color. You're going to get card bases, envelopes, ink pad, markers, stamp and blends, ink refill, ribbon and DSP, and two make and takes. You'll get a video from me and a free em embellishment. It'll, I'll show you how to make the two cards that are in your pack. Um, so it'll be a more interactive club than my in-color clubs have been in the past. Details on this will come out probably the first week of April. Is that next week? No, week after next, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. If you like my color clubs, that's coming. This adorable stamp set is called Country Birdhouse, and it's a new one. And I am in love with it. I mean, come on. How stinking cute. This is the, the houses are stamped on the new patterned paper. Um, the, you know, we have color family pattern papers. I, I just, they, I've loved, you know, I, the, everybody has their favorite kinds of colors and my favorite kinds of colors are brights. So of course, and you know what? I, I wouldn't say these are necessarily brights. I mean, these guys probably would be considered brights. They're like somewhere in between the brights and the subtles. Pastel, Easter eggs, right? They're so, 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 so cute. Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Peach Pie, 
Summer Splash and Shy Shamrock. That's what they're called. They're so cute. Okay, so good, Patricia. I'm glad you liked. You know, I knew that my um, In Color Club needed a revamp. I just had to work it out in my head, and so that's what I did with a new color club, and I loved it. Got lots of good feedback on it, so we're gonna stick with that format. Okay, so those are the end colors. Now, let me show you this giant box of stuff that I just wanna show you real, real quick. Look, <laughs> this isn't even all of it. First of all, these are swaps. Look, you know what, who is this? Donna, Donna Johnson gave this to one of my team members to give to me, and Donna, I never got to meet you, but I love it. It is crazy, silly, silly cute. She used a deckel edge circle to make a little taco. Very cute. Um, but all of this, so, so much fun swaps. I I only came home with like four swaps, you guys. I gave away almost all of them. You would be proud of me. Um, I'm gonna case some of this. Look, Denise made us Texas cookies. Hey, why is this still in here? I need to eat that. That won't save, I have to eat it. Um, we had lots of coffee cards. Whose is this? Brandy. Brandy. I got to meet Brandy finally in person. You know, it's fun because I feel like I know some of you and we've never met. And so Brandy, thanks for coming and giving me a hug and your card is so cute. Um, lots of coffee cards. There were two very strong themes, coffee cards and the cow, the cutest cow. Who is this from again? Oh, Laura. Laura is my second level downline. Laura, everything she makes is amazing. Um, we're going to do the cutest cows in April for Facebook Friday. And Laura, I'm probably going to case this, just straight up case it because it is absolutely adorable. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all that. I'll show you them as we as we go through time. Um, here's a kit that we all got, one of the upcoming kits. It's got these little honeycomb things on it. So, so cute. Wait, I got to show you this other one. Look, when you open it, there's the sun inside. I'm guessing this is gonna be a kit in April. Did they tell us, you guys? I don't remember hearing when it was, but anyway, that's a kit that's coming. Um, here is some papers. So Rhonda and I both got different papers, and when we do that, we always split, we share, which is fun, because then you come back with more. This was Prize Patrol, and this paper is very much my daughter, right? All the, the paint and stuff. It's very busy, so we're gonna have to use this paper strategically, six by six. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but it's very artsy. And you know, this paper is the kind of paper that's the star of your card. Really, all you need is a sentiment. So let me just run through, show you these really pretty, pretty, pre ooh, I love these warm colors. Okay, so there's that, that was one prize. Here's another prize, Leaf Collection background stamp. Um, here's just something for using Instagram. This was a really cool thing and you'll see this in the catalog. It's a color wheel with all kinds of ways to help you understand how colors go together. Um, I'm hoping Stampin' Up! will have the wheel available like this, but they haven't confirmed that. Um, but it's really neat. Um, I love color. I love I don't fully understand, of course, my mother and my daughter could totally school us all on colors and there's so much science between, you know, behind how they work and all that. I don't understand it. I just know when it looks good, I know, right? When you see colors together, you're like, that looks good. You just know it. But this I'm going to try to use to do some planning. Um, it'll, you know, you can turn the wheel and it'll show you complementary colors. I don't know. It was just really neat, a really neat tool. So then one night we had uh, late night stamping and the bundle that I got was the country florals. This was like an add-on class that we did. And then my friend Kimberly and Rhonda, we all had three different sets. So of course we all made each other a set of cards while we were there. Um, and they use a lot of these new in colors. That pretty. Can't remember what the Mediterranean something. There's a new set coming out. It's like lemons and oranges. And oh my gosh, it, it really stood out to me as one of my favorites. Petunia Pop and Peach Pie. And then this stamp set, I don't remember the stamp set, what it's called, but the dies have a bunch of really cool circles, all different edges and stuff. So cute. This is the Country Flowers. You know, and I didn't think I was gonna like that card, but once I finished it, I'm like, hey, I really like that card. This was my favorite card of the night. This was Kimberly's card. Um, made in her little make and takes. Um, I love those colors together. So that's peach pie, pretty in pink, and petunia pop. 
And then there's another one of Rhonda's. I, I don't know this, the name right here, these. Um, anyway, very, very pretty. Uh, so country floral flowers. And then here is something kind of fun that we did, a little in color kind of like bookmark thing. You know, sometimes we do the bookmarks. You can see how I messed up. <laughs> It's very crowded, you guys. It's a lot of pressure to make it perfect. Got some in color cardstock. And then here's the paper I won. And you can see it's like all falling apart because it's it has all these little punch out things, these little die cuts that are in the paper. Anyway, this is a really pretty set of paper. You can see it's got um, peacock. Pretty peacock. And it's got, look, all of these like punch out. These are great for scrapbooking. All right. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. So there's a very messy just show of a bunch of stuff that we got. I feel like that's not even all of it. Oh, I know. I do need to show you this over here. Um, we got a bag and you've probably seen the bag online. Oh, let me show you this. Look at this, someone gave me, Kristen, I believe. Thank you very much, I love it. And I used it the entire weekend. Um, super cute, she made it. Share a Diet Coke with Erica. It's one of those like insulated cups. Love it. This is one of the things uh, Stampin' Up! gave us. If you, uh, if you were a leader or if you, I don't know, there's certain love, silver elite and above, you got to go in the special room and this was one of the things that they gave us, an insulated mug. And then our bag, this gigantic bag that everybody just loved. Um, it's a backpack. I can't even show you the whole thing. And I didn't even notice until we got home that it had this, um, like, you can plug your phone in or your, like, um, your battery in side, and then you can run your plug through the outside to plug it, to charge it. I'm guessing what that, that's what that is. It was really, really cool. Um, journal. And then we got this and these. And then this was another Silver Elite and Above um, gift. I'll show you that in just a second. But this is really cool to put your, um, like your brushes or your markers in. Oh, come on. Let me cut that off. And it's one of these little, like a travel bag. And you slide it down. And then you can store your stuff in there. Like makeup brushes or markers or whatever, you know. If you're going to use it for like a crop, put your blends in there or your tools. I don't know. It's cute. Um, fun pens. And then this really cool little, like, I don't know, like a storage, like ink pads can fit in here. And these are like, you can move these around and change the sizes, put your tools in here. This is a really neat, really neat, uh, tool bag. All right. So that is just a quick show off of all the fun and amazing things that I got while we were in Houston. Definitely not all the things, but most of the things. I did get my pre-order, and I will show you guys some of that as we get closer to the catalog. There's just too much, just so much. I could be, I could be on Facebook Live for like three hours showing you all of this gorgeous stuff. So I'm just going to show you that much. Oh my gosh, it's already 25. Okay, I need to hurry up. <laughs> I do want to tell you real quick that um, my next class is my Alzheimer's uh, fundraiser class. Um, kidding around, it's going to use this bundle. This is so, so cute. Um, I will list it next week. It's a card class, six cards. Look at that baby. Is she not the cutest? Um, you're going to get paper, embellishments, and linen thread. And every penny I make off this class is going to the Alzheimer's Association in honor of my dad. I like to do an Alzheimer's fundraiser at least once a year, and it's been a while, so this that's what this class is going to be. Details will be coming out on that Monday or Tuesday. Okay? Okay. So that's that. And I think for now, that's all the things. That's all the things. So many things. If you haven't gone over to my blog yet, has anybody checked to see if my blog post is up? Let's get this straight. Um, Pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo, there is a little icon that says click here for the free PDF. And here it is. It'll have everything that we um, are doing today, measurements and supplies. Here's information on Club Create if you need that. Here's information on my All-Star Tutorial. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Susan. 
Um, and then today's the very last day to register for the Latte Love class to go. And FYI, the swirl dots are unorderable. So if you register for this class yesterday and today, your dots will be delayed, <laughs> just so that you know. I sent the email out two days ago with the link, but if you still need the link, email me in the next hour or two and I will send it to you. But today's the very last day for that. Okay, if you like today's make and takes and you want them for free, you can put in an order um, between now and Monday at midnight. If it's over $35 and you use this host code, I'll send you the make and takes for free. They look like this. You'll need the submarine life stamp set and punch. And then I'm using one embossing folder. Um, I don't do any of the embossing. I'll do all the die cutting for you, but I just won't do the embossing. Um, so, but you need the stamps and dies. I don't send stamp images. That's a no, no. Okay, so you have until Monday at midnight. You guys know the drill on that. Our prize winner from two weeks ago is Rochelle. Rochelle or Rachel? What do you guys think? Rochelle, I think it's Rochelle Hadley. And I have your address. I know I do. So I will send this out. Thanks for sharing my um, video last or two weeks ago. I definitely appreciate it. Um, this week's winner is going to get the trusty tools bundle if you haven't gotten this yet you guys it's so cute it's actually going to be in the new catalog which i'm really glad about because it's a it's an excellent bundle so i'll pick a winner next week and um if, you know from anybody who shares on facebook or on youtube okay let's stand let me grab my first tray over here now i just used the stapler <laughs> on to staple those um those last chance list and i think i might have used the um last staples and we need it for this project but we'll see who knows okay so the first card now all three of card all three cards today are fun folds and i went and googled and googled and googled trying to find the names of these three fun folds and i'm going to tell you what i came up with for each one okay this one i believe is called a flip flap card see how it flips and it flaps <laughs> So this is a flip flap card. The submarine life um, bundle's really, really cute. There's 22 images in here and it's a punch. Our punches sell out every time. So to me, that tells me you guys love punches. Um, this one hasn't sold out, but in the past, punches are some of the first things to go. Um, I, you know, I love, a, I love my dies, but man, a punch is just easy, right? You can just, you don't, you don't have to get out of your chair. <laughs> <laughs> to use a punch. Okay, let's do our stamping first. And I'm going to show you how to line up. Where's my clear block? Did I lose it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, well, I'm going to take them off because I want to show you how to line these up. The punch will, will punch out the submarine, the propeller, and the periscope. I hope I'm calling them the right things. Um, at the same time. So if you stamp them, if you get them arranged on your block at the same time, then you could stamp them all at the same time and punch them all out at the same time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to get a scrap piece of paper and punch, throw those away or use them later, whatever. And then you set this down and you put your stamps right in the, the negative space. And there's space around, there's a lot of space around it. It's not real tight. So you wanna just really try to get it centered in that little hole there, okay? And then we've got the propeller. Propeller, you guys? <laughs> I think, propeller. Um, and you stick that in there. We're not using the little periscope, so we're not gonna add that. And then you lay your block down and you pick it up. Now, for this guy, we're actually using two different inks. If you have your, if you have Stamparatus or a stamp positioning tool, it'll be better to do this that, on that because then you could ink one, stamp it, clean it, ink the other, stamp it, clean it. But because we're just gonna use a block, I'm gonna mask off and I'm gonna do, it's actually pretty easy. You probably don't even need to mask off. You know what, let's try it without because these are clear. I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight. Yeah, you don't even need a mask. See, you can just go right there. I'm just getting it on the edge. And then get your pumpkin pie and do the same thing. Just watching out for your little propeller. Make sure it doesn't get in the pumpkin pie. Okay. 
my my ink pad is really juicy. I don't know. This may not this may not turn out. Let's see. Here we go. Ready? Oh yeah. Okay. Ta-da! All right. So now you're gonna get your punch, and they line up perfectly. You know what? I feel like we need to zoom in just a little bit. All right. Come on. Let's zoom in just a bit. Make sure it doesn't like go wonky. All right. There we go. Okay, so we've got that and we've got that. Now, let's create the flip flap part of our card. And this can be done really with any um, die. Hold on, let me get all this over here. I'm gonna put the tray down. This can be done with any die that's symmetrical. So like a circle, a square, a rectangle, an oval. Um, and what we're gonna do, uh, first, the first thing you need to do is make sure you find the center. So I took my ruler and I measured it and I just put this little mark here in the center of the die. And then I have a four and a fourth by 11 card base and I've scored it at two and three fourths and five and a half. And we're gonna put this on here so that that first, that two and three fourths score line is right there where I have my marks. And honestly, I didn't do my marks very well. <laughs> of course I didn't. They, um, I know it's the very top of that one and then that one. I was in a hurry. I'm sorry. But anyway, it'll work. It'll work. Now put that right there. And what we're going to do is we want just this section to cut. And we want it to stop at that score line, okay? So then you're going to take your plate and you're gonna put your plate right there on that score line so that as we're running it through, it's gonna stop right there on that score line. We're not gonna, um, we're not gonna go any further. Now here's why you marked it the halfway and not just eyeball it. Because when you do this, and you can even see mine's a little bit crooked here, you need it to, to fit and not be too big like it may be too low, too high, and then it's not gonna flip and flap like we want it to flip and flap, <laughs> okay? So that's why you gotta find that center point. That, the first time I made this, I was like, wait a minute, I was off, it didn't work. All right, so see how we're there? So then it's gonna fold down like this, and it's gonna flip and flap, flip and flap, okay? Pretty easy. All right, so now let's make all the other pieces. Do I have grid paper? Yes, right here. No, oh, I don't like messy grid paper. Let's turn this over, let's see. Well, this is grid paper left over for my team meeting. We're gonna use it, we don't wanna waste. Um, all right, we need two of these. And this is exactly the same size as the die that we just used. Um, they're just basic white. And we're gonna take blueberry bushel and a blending brush. And you can use small or the big, whichever ones you want. Blueberry bushel's dark, so we're gonna really like run it off. We don't want it to be too dark. And then you're just gonna kinda go around the edges. And I'm gonna go around the edges and meet there in the middle. I want most of it to be blue, but I don't want it to be super dark blue. So I'm just gonna very lightly go over the center like that. Okay, and then we'll do this one, same thing. Around the edges. Like that, just very softly go over the center, okay? Now we've got some bubbles, and we'll stamp the bubbles. Um, on the front, let's look at the card. On the front, we're gonna do bubbles all over it, okay? And you don't want your bubbles to be exactly the same, so turn your stamp as you're stamping so they'll be sporadic and not uniform. All right, now on the end side, we want it just at the top because we're gonna stamp our little fish. We'll do maybe some over here on the side like that, okay? Now let's get our real red. And you've got a lot of little choices, little critter choices here, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna do this guy in real red. 
Then I'm gonna grab my Granny Apple Green. And so do you guys think this is a flip flap fold? <laughs> I don't know. I Googled and go. I mean, it took me like 30 minutes to find the names, the official names. We're going to stamp this little plant right there. All right. And then we're going to get, I've cut, this is the, these are from the nested essential dies. I don't know if I said that. This is the largest and this is the smallest. And we're going to stamp happy birthday in pumpkin pie right there. Okay. Then dimensional. like that and then let's get this guy um now here's the other thing you got to remember you don't want your blimp to stick out too far which this is this was my prototype and it's kind of a mess so i, I learned some things on my prototype that's one of the things you got to know you do not want it to stick out otherwise that flipping and flapping it'll get stuck on the side all right i'm going to take the little propeller no one, have you guys confirmed? Is this a propeller? Is that what you call this? And we're going to stick it. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Let's take that off. Because it's too wide, we're going to have to actually stick it on the front. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Again, you don't want things sticking off the edge. So take that and put that right there like that. And then take this and stick it pretty much on the front. See, we really don't want it sticking off too much like that. All right. Okay, so now we've got those two guys. Ugh, this is ugly, let's get this out of here. And then we've got a piece of granny apple green and we're gonna use our space paper. This is the stargazing i looked it up i typed it up last night so i was hoping i'd remember the name this is just a piece of the stargazing paper not ocean related however it works and i've cut with one of our basic border dies which is retiring granny uh lemon lime twist oh wait hold please put that down don't stick it yet because we gotta we gotta do some stamping i'm gonna take that grass again and stamp and stamp again or you could do lemon lime twist i can't tell what i did i think i might have used lemon lime twist or you can just stamp twice so it's lighter and let's do our little starfish down here he's oh well he was almost upside down there we go now let's get our border Put that right there. I mean, come on, that's so cute. So cute. Scissors, where are they? Right here. Basic border dies. You guys, how am I gonna live without the basic borders and the give it a whirl? <sighs> I love those dies. I use them on every project. I know that's probably a sign that they need to go because I use them too much. I need to get out of my comfort zone with something new. Hey, Brandy, thank you. All right, so now a little school of fish right there. And then where is that piece of white that I had? We're gonna stamp, I love this sentiment, um, sending oceans of love. Pumpkin pie is over here. Why do I have, I have an ink pad like in every corner of my desk, an open ink pad. And we're just gonna stamp it right there on the edge. Grab your trimmer. Snip it off. And cut that like that. I'm gonna just put a little bit of adhesive on the back and put it, let's put it across there like that. Okay, and then it's actually too long. I didn't want it to be as long as card I'm snipping I'm snipping all right let's see if I have staples left just for fun we're gonna add a couple of staples all right I had two left then here is something else that's retiring our in color Baker's twine now this is not lemon lime twist or granny apple green it is parakeet party but they all they all coordinate 
You would never know this is not the same green because it's so small. So don't be afraid to, you know, like, oh my gosh, it's Parakeet Party, I can't use it. Yes, you can. And we're gonna put that right there. Okay, I think we're ready to put it all together. Let's, you know, let's close these because we all know what's gonna happen, especially with this red one. My card is gonna land face down in the ink pad and we will all have to cry and be upset. All right, here we go. Now, this also I thought would be good for a gift card if you just slid a gift card right here underneath the little banner, I mean the border. Um, oh, we gotta bring this back. We're not, we're not quite done. We gotta do the bubbles on this one too. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Turn your stamp so that your bubbles don't look like they came from a machine. All uniform. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to take this one and, you know, let's use dimensionals. Dimensionals. This one goes on the inside. And my mine looks like it may be a little sideways. <laughs> like like a little bit. That's one thing when you cut it, you gotta you gotta look on either side, make sure it's even, and make sure it's straight. All right, and then this guy goes right there, and there is your flip, put in your flap. You know what? He needs to go up just a little bit higher. Hold on. Let's make sure he is in the right place. There we go. All right, flip flap. What was that Muppets that said, flip to flip, what, what was that, the, the chef, right? That's what I think of every time, flip, flip, flip. All right, there you go, guys. Now, you can do that. Of course, I used it, I used it. <laughs> I used the nested essential dies, but you can use anything I think that is symmetrical will work. So like a circle, a square, a rectangle, an oval, I think they will all work. Oh, wait a minute. We forgot. Every time I think I'm done, I'm not done. Let's add a few of these rainbow. Did I just set my hand in that? I did. A few of these rainbow adhesive back dots for the bubbles. These are going to be in the new catalog too. I love these. I'm glad. All right. There is card number one. Let's clean these stamps because we are using them again. I hope you guys liked it. Have you guys made that kind of fun fold before? It is a fun one. Um, let's see, we use this and we use this one. All right, card two coming right up. Let me make some room, clean up, clean up. All right, we don't need this guy anymore. We don't need this guy, all of this, all of that. All of this over here, boop, boop, make sure, okay. Oh, look, dang it. Probably for my hand. Why is this here? You know what? I don't have my other chamois, let's see. Aha, oh, it cleaned up nicely, doesn't it? Okay, next project. Now this one, I'm pretty confident it's called a bridge card, right? Don't you call that a bridge card? Because it's a bridge and it's super easy. And again, you can use any dies, circle, whatever. And this one really doesn't even have to be symmetrical. Now, I have a question and I want you guys to go look on, on the website. Yesterday when I was typing this up, I could not find this embossing folder on the website. I had to look in the catalog and it's called um, Stripes and Splatters and it's a skinny one so it'll fit in your mini, but I couldn't find it on the website. Somebody go look, is it gone? Is it sold out already? The Swedish chef, that's who it was, Nancy. He's so cute, he was very cute. Sold out, Sonia, dang, that was fast. All right, well, you can use any embossing folder, you know. You don't have to use the one I'm using. 
tiny embossing folder will work. So it's already sold out. Man, was it sold out before the catalog, before we got the list? Good grief. I haven't even, the last time I looked, which was maybe like Monday, there wasn't anything even on the retiring list. Have they updated that? Because that's crazy. Crazy. Okay, so this time we are going to stamp this in red. We're not using the propeller right now, but I'm not taking it off because we're going to use it in the next project. And we've got it lined up so perfectly that I'm going to leave it. So we're going to actually this time punch out both the propeller and the periscope. Periscope. I don't know. It feels like the wrong word. Um, yeah, so Nancy, it was one of the, yes, one of the celebration items that they brought in um, in February. They bring in annual catalog things. That's probably why it sold out, because it sold quickly during celebration. Well, good. Maybe you all have it already. All right, the propeller and the periscope from Basic Gray. Um, we're going to put these on, and then we're going to take Wink of Stella. Now, let's talk about Wink of Stella. <laughs> Wink of Stella has been unorderable. Um, unorderable since, like, January, maybe even December. And it's coming back. It's in the new catalog. Um, it's just there's a supplier issue. The supplier of Wink of Stella is having issues. So, just know, it has been... It has been said, possibly it'll be back. Dang it, you know what I just did? I have this paper for stamping the submarine and I use that piece, which is supposed to go on the inside. So I'm gonna have to get another piece. Hold, please. Um, let me see, hold, please. Talk amongst yourself while I find some basic white and a paper cutter. I need the Jeopardy music. Be playing. Um, all right, and I'm done. Okay. Um, it's been mentioned that the Wink of Stella will be back late May, I believe. Fingers crossed. Because I need some. Boy, I use the heck out of Wink of Stella. All right, we don't want to look at this anymore. Let's let's use this one. All right, we're going to just, I mean, again, more ocean scenes. It's really fun. You get to build your little ocean here. This color, can anybody name this color? It's new. Who knows what it is? It is called Azure Afternoon. Can you guys tell on camera? It's very pretty. All right, we're going to stamp the ocean lines a couple of times like this and then we're going to get our we've got we've got a tall grass and a short grass and we're going to use the short grass first over here on our circle on the left side and the right side like that and then we're going to get granny apple green and we're going to do that in the middle very cute let's bring back the little yellow fish which just remind me of dory every time i see it i want to say just keep swimming just keep swimming man my kids watch the heck out of that where is my dory okay right here now she's yellow so she's not dory but um let's do this one up a little bit higher because i noticed on this one i couldn't quite see them all right, so we've just created a little simple water background. Now for the inside, we're gonna stamp Dory, the yellow Dories, across like this, like they're swimming across. Again, you don't have to write much inside this card. <laughs> you guys know how I like that. And then we'll just do a little crabby. Where's our crab? Down at the bottom, like that, okay? Um, yes, Cynthia says she adds alcohol to her empty wink of Stella. I've heard that, and I've never done it. I need to try it. You can add um, 
it has to be the 90%, I think, the higher number of alcohol. Yeah, I'll try it for sure. One thing I like to do with my Wink of Stella is to squirt it out onto a block and then splatter it. And man, let me tell you, <laughs> that uses a ton of Wink of Stella. And when I do that, then I'm like, I have barely any left for whatever reason. I guess because when you squirt it, a lot comes out. But yeah, put you can open it up. I don't know how you open it up. I'll have to I'll have to try that. I guess maybe just that black thing. You pull that black thing out. All right, sending oceans of love. We're using that again, and I have a banner punch. We're not going to use the banner end. We're going to use the pointy end. We want to center it right there. And I always make my paper a little bit too long, so then I have to punch it a couple of times to make it shorter. Here we go. No, nope, that one still needs some more work. Let's go down a little bit more. It's like taking little quarter inch bites off each time. Okay, come on. We're sticking with that. All right, now for your card, where's my trimmer? Let's see, I'll use this since we have this. We're gonna cut, we want two two inch sections. All right, so I'm gonna cut this at two inches. That feels just totally wrong off the card front, and then take this remaining piece and cut it at two. Now I know yesterday when I did my little pre-recording videos, these pieces were too big. So we're gonna make these one and three fourths. This is a piece, one and three fourths by four, same color, I've embossed it. Now you could emboss just this piece but when you do this, it's gonna make it a little bit stronger because you've got two pieces there. Um, and with this kind of this bridge situation, I feel like you don't want that bottom piece to be too weak. And then this is the Azure Afternoon Designer Series paper from the Brights stack. All right, now let's connect the two. Take this piece. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of out of the out of the camera. And you wanna match those corners down there. Okay, so match those corners. Then get your circle and your dimensionals. And I'm gonna put one at the top, one at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna set it on that one's there and that one's there. And now we are connected. We have made connection. I mean, super easy. Super duper easy. All right. Put that inside. Get our little submarine guy. He's very, very cute. Put him right in the middle like that. And now we got to embellish. So I thought let's use these. Oh, wait. We forgot this guy. You know, I'm going to use... I've got a lot of sheets that look like this. Do you guys end up with sheets of dimensionals that look like this? Well, these ends, these edges right here are so good for this situation. When you have a long and skinny piece, it's perfect. All right, let's put that there. Uh oh, what's happening? There we go. All right, now these are called iridescent foil gems. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna be including these in that class I just showed you the just kidding around. And if you want these to be a different color, just use your Stampin' Blends. It will totally, you color them, it dries, it makes them different colors. All right, so I did like little bubbles coming up. And then, once again, I pulled out my in color twine. And we'll tie a bow, little bow. We don't want it to overpower our little sub. Snip, snip. Glue dot, glue dot right here. On the way home from Houston, you guys, I went to Round Top, which is like a antique mecca. <laughs> they have three times a year. And I was like, okay, I'm only gonna stay, where did I put this? Yes, I'm only gonna stay a couple hours because I wanted to get home to my family. Well, let me tell you, a couple hours was not enough in Round Top and I really wanna go back it was amazing. If you're ever in Central Texas, look up Round Top. Okay, there you go, guys. Bridge card. 
bridge card. Easy peasy, super easy. Super easy, can be done with any stamp set, any die cut, any card stock. Super easy. Um, at Round Top, what did I buy? I bought an old um, milk carton, you know, a milk can, can, milk can. It's rusty and stuff. I've been wanting one for in here to put like my yard sticks and long and skinny things. So I got that and I got an old scale for in the house. Um, what else did I get? I bought something else and now I can't remember what it was. I don't know, but really you need to go with like a U-Haul truck. <laughs> and a lot of money. There's a lot of furniture there on round top, which was not really what I was shopping for, obviously, but boy, you could you could do some damage if you like antiques in round top. Okay, that's card number two. We've got one more. Now this card, I feel like I make this card all the time, but I had no idea what it was called. So I looked and I looked and I looked and I believe it's called a joy fold card. Have you guys heard it called that before? I mean, we've made this card many times, right? Joy fold. Now notice our submarine is not a submarine. He's a blimp. How cute. There's a sample in the catalog where they turned it upside down and made a blimp. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make that. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Joy fold. I don't know. That, that one I'm not so confident about. Um, no, Carl, I did not see Chip and Jojo, but I did look for them. They are always there. And let me tell you, it screamed Chip and Jojo. It's so big. I mean, really, you need like three days. You need to like spend the night there. And uh, there's like different venues. And the one that I went to, I went to Blue Hills. And it took a good two hours just to really kind of loop around. Um, but there's... I mean, maybe 12 or 15 of those venues, maybe more. It's a lot, it's a lot. And it's so, so fun. There's places there that have like French antiques, like antiques from France, you know? And there were some things that were crazy expensive. I was like, oh, look what I just did. I messed that up, we're gonna have to reset that. I was like, who's buying this $3,000 tiny chair? Cause it's not me, I'm not buying. <laughs> I mean, I felt like some of the stuff was really um, ridiculously overpriced. And another thing that I noticed about Round Top is that everyone was dressed up. I mean, I was wearing like yoga pants and like a, my Stampin' Up sweatshirt thing. People were wearing like their long flowy dresses and it was muddy and you're outside. I, I don't know. I guess that's the thing there. I was not dressed up. I felt a little light. Ooh, but then I was like, who cares? I'm not getting mud on my stuff. Okay, back to what we're doing. Nancy, was it Nancy that just said I might push you over the edge? Nancy, you're welcome. This is a really cute set, and I think it lends itself really well to kids. But not, not like it doesn't have to be for kids. You know, I mean, I think anybody who gets a card with this would just smile, automatically smile. Now I'm doing Daffodil Delight and uh, Basic Gray this time. This bundle, I meant to tell you guys this. This bundle, look what I did. Let's try it again. This bundle is carrying over. So it's gonna be in the new catalog, but see really what you should do is the dark color first. That way you can make sure you didn't get it anywhere. And then do the light color. Um, I keep spinning the ink pad, like that's gonna change the shape. Um, but so, okay, so carrying over, but not the bundle price, okay? So when you buy it as a bundle, you save 10%. If you were to order just the stamp set and the punch separately as two different items, you don't save the 10%. And the bundle price is always only offered in the first catalog. So right now, it's still bundle price in the spring catalog. But when it's in the annual catalog come May 1st, you won't be able to save that 10%. Okay, so we've got that. We're turning our blimp this way. And we're going to stamp. Did I get everything off of here? I need Flirty Flamingo. Let's close this. I don't think we need this anymore. Flirty Flamingo. And we need our little 
flag, which is right here. Now, unfortunately, the flag we have to fussy cut. I apologize to my fussy cut haters. I know there's many of you out there, but it's worth it. This is easy, just straight cut, straight cut, and then just go around. Get your reverse tweezers to hold it if you need to. And then you've got yourself a cute little flag. All right, this time we're gonna use balmy blue. And oh, we need to make this little cloud border. See this little cloud border right here that he's floating around on? We're gonna do that with one of our basic border dies. Again, retiring, leaving, one of my favorites. Let's see if I can do this without having to pull out my post-it tape again. All right, we're gonna do the top edge of this. Oh, I'm out of the screen. You guys can see. I'm pretty much the very bottom, but you guys can see. Um, so do the top edge. Um, are snips increasing? I did not have that on my list. I knew there would be something missing from my list. Um, Lisa, <laughs> SpongeBob. You know, we never went through SpongeBob at my house, luckily. I, I'm not, I can, I can tell you right now, I would not be a fan of SpongeBob either. SpongeBob. You know, SpongeBob has a Broadway show that is supposed to be like so good. I, I can't imagine that, but it gets rave reviews. Did I tell you guys we saw Beetlejuice, the Broadway Beetlejuice, and I hated it? Ugh. There's a new Beetlejuice coming out. Like, remember Beetlejuice from the 80s? Well, we've got a new Beetlejuice coming out. Michael Keaton and Winona Ryder are revising their roles. And, um, oh, what's the girl that played Wednesday? My daughter, my youngest, loves her. She's playing Winona Ryder's daughter. She's, like, perfect. All right, we're going to put this on a piece of balmy blue. And I made it a little bit too long, so let's cut it off. What is her name? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Her name is, dang it, what is her name, you guys? Hey, don't you hate that? You can feel it right there on the tip of your tongue. She's so cute. She played Wednesday. Come on, Jenna Ortega. There you go, Jenna Ortega, that's her name. She's very cute. Um, we need the fish, okay, I mean the bird. There's actually a bird stamp in this set, believe it or not. Balmy blue bird there. Um, we have, hopefully I haven't lost it, this from the Everyday Details um, die set. We're gonna do floating by, just to say hi. Ooh, that looks weird. I'm gonna do that right there. And then let's get our glue dots and glue dot this guy together. Now you could use liquid glue, but ugh, we know that will take a while while I'm making the video. It's just a little bit too messy and nobody wants to wait. So we're just gonna do this. All right. Now, yes, we're putting it upside down. Think of a blimp. It has that little like compartment there at the bottom where people ride in. She was in you. Oh, I didn't see that. You know, Beetlejuice, yeah, right, Elaine? I remember liking it. I mean, that was a really long time ago. But when we saw it on Broadway, and I know Beetlejuice was like, you know, ew. He, this Beetlejuice on Broadway was so, like, offensive. Like, offensive. Like, flipping the bird off and using, like, you know, really ugly language. And there's a lot of kids in. I think that's why I hated it so much. There were kids everywhere. Um... And it was just, ew, I did not like it. I was like, I could not wait for it to be over. So that was definitely on my no thank you Broadway list. All right, there we've got that. Now on the inside, okay, let's put this together. So these two pieces are the same size and here is our card front. And you could do this. So I have it like this, boop, boop, like that. You could turn it and you could do it like this too if you wanted to. I don't think there's a wrong way or a right way here. 
I'm using, um, I've got a lot of this paper, this glorious gingham paper. So you're gonna see me use it in the next couple of weeks because I wanna give it away to you guys in your Facebook Friday kits. What's happening here? Something's happening to my adhesive. Where's my other one? Here's this one. <laughs> oh no, this one's doing it too. User error, always user error. All right, Glorious Gingham, my favorite paper. Oops, did I do this backwards? Oh well, that's all right. Um, it has the big print on the on one side and the little print on the other side. You can use it however you want. See, I did the opposite here. Works either way. Now this is a little, like a mini card, and it's three by six. No, three by, hold on. No, let me tell you the right. <laughs> three by, well, now I can't remember. Where's my measuring thing? My measuring thing, okay. Three by eight, that didn't sound right. Three by eight, scored at four, so that the, the front is just three by four. So now we're gonna take another piece of this balmy blue, put it right on the inside, and then moment of silence for our give it a whirl dies, please, moment of silence. They are leaving us. I use them on every single Facebook Friday for sure. All right, three white clouds. We're gonna put the, that one there. Yes, we do have, we have those new cloud dies, but they're not the same. They don't have stitched hearts and stitched stars. You guys, change is not my favorite. I don't like change very much. All right, a little blue bird there, a little blue bird there. That's cute. I mean, come on, that's so cute. We're gonna put this guy on the front. Oh, I forgot to color my ribbon. I meant to do that ahead of time. Okay, so here we go. Now, we're gonna color our ribbon. Let's get our grid paper one last time. And we're gonna take this um, petal pink ribbon and I'm gonna measure it. That's how much we need right there, okay? And I'm just gonna cut a little bit longer so I have a, I can hold on to it. Now you're gonna take your dark flirty flamingo and you're just gonna color it. Again, don't forget that these alcohol markers can color your embellishments. Like I said, those little dots, you could color those. You could color your ribbon. You can color lots of things with these. If I had to pick one Stamping Up thing to take with me to a deserted island, you know, because that would, because that would have to be, that would be a choice, right? <laughs> no, it would be Stampin' Blends. They are my favorite thing that Stampin' Up sells. I love them so much. They are my favorite. Okay, so I meant to do this before we started so that then, let's see. So that then it would be dry and it's not dry, but you know, tie your ribbon, tie your bow. Ooh, I'm getting my hands all inky. I'm gonna set that down, we'll put it on there later. Let's look at this one that's finished. And then you just stick it right there. Okie dokie, joy fold. Is this called a joy fold? What do you guys think? Um, Lisa, I wondered too, I mean, well, there were some specific like Texas conservative jokes for sure, you know, like, oh, I heard in Texas, blah, blah, blah. There was a lot of that. So maybe it was specific, but he was really just trying to tick everyone off, I think. I, I don't think he cared. I, I really, the thing that bothered me, bothered me the most was there were a lot of kids there and that it was just very inappropriate. But Beetlejuice is inappropriate. So, you know, anyway. Um, and Juliet, yes, Lisa, I want to see that one too. I want to see Shucked, the one about the corn. <laughs> so dumb, but I want to see it. So paper snips are going up to $12 in the new catalog. What are they right now, 10? Yeah, things are going up. Okay, so I need to add that to my list. Paper snips, paper snips, cardstock, stamp and blend, glue, glue dots. These are the things that are going up. Okay. That's it for me today, you guys. We have three cards. Let's look at them. Three fun folds. Um, oh, thanks, Nina. I'm glad you like them. Um, I will be honest with you. I had a hard time with this set just because I felt like everything was looking the same. 
But then I was like, you're making underwater scenes. There are going to be very similar. Um, but then now, you know, that was like, I made this like three weeks ago. And now that I look at them with fresh eyes, I do like them too. Um, so if you want these three make and takes, please have your order in by Monday at midnight. There's the host code right there. Minimum order, $35. Get your free PDF over at Pink Buckaroo. Here's my bonus projects. We've got this one right here that I showed yesterday. You just used your stylus shape circle dies to make like little, little holes, little windows. And then I was inspired by that to make this. Th these dies are from the Just Kidding dies, the little kids I just showed you for our class. Um, and I made kind of like an aquarium. Can you see how it has a, I don't know what's happening over here. Things are, things are, pretend like you don't see this because this is not what you should be seeing right here. I'll fix that. <laughs> um, anyway, I made like a little porthole and you can see I used um, crystal effects to put the little dots around. And the um, little castle is from the Just Kidding bundle. So this will be on my blog on Monday. And then I have one swap card from Leslie. Very cute colors. She put the little star guy in there. He's so cute. Very cute. All right, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope the weather is nice where you are. I hope you're getting into spring. Maybe getting into your yards a little bit. And I will see you next week. Next week, I believe we're going to do pets and more. The online exclusive. A little um, pet stamp set that's brand new. All right, you guys. I'll see you next week. Did I say crystal effects, Lisa? Crystal effects, it's not, what are they called? Yes, we have them. They come in six colors. What are they come? What are they called? Oh, today my brain is not firing. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's in the catalog. It's there. We used it. It was in my holiday retreat bag. Crystal effects are not crystal effects. What are they? Someone's going to say it. I don't know. Go look. It's in the catalog. I promise. And they're carrying over. I even noticed. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.